Kanye who? <laughs> Sorry, I had to do that. <laughs> I don't have an official title. Greedy guy? Yeah, that's close. The original approach of making a marionette would be in the realm of about three to four months. With 3D printing, we're able to create, for example, making these marionette heads with even higher detail and range of motion in just a couple of weeks. Once I get the file from the sculptor, I check the file so that we can make sure that we matched the pictures as good as we could, ensuring that the celebrities themselves will be happy with what they look like on camera as a puppet. Once that is done, I actually move into separating the pieces and making sure that all of these pieces can be 3D printed and that will give me an exact idea of what it is that I'm printing. This particular print time, it's uh, 12 hours and 35 minutes. We're printing at 50 micron. That is a layer thickness of about one third of a human hair. Pretty cool. Now it's time to get the prints out. All of these pieces are printed hollow because a marionette, its natural movement is very fluid. Ta-da! Hello. So once everything comes back painted, we're going to be attaching the head floating with a piece of twine that goes into here so that it can move around freely. And that's it. With the type of technical achievement that we're trying to do with this particular show, we have to add enough joints and attachments to put in certain mechanical parts to make sure that all these pieces actually are moving via a remote control uh, instead of the old fashioned way with a string. Now it's off to painting. My name is Audrey Densmore. I am a painter and puppet maker. 3D printing is changing the game dramatically for puppet making. For hyper-realistic faces like Amber Rose, it's incredible how fast and easy it is to make a puppet, a sculpture like this. Uh, all right, so this is Amber Rose. I think she needs some false eyelashes, but I think once I get those on, she will uh, be as fabulous as she is in real life, maybe. 